July fourth, twenty twenty one. Dear journal, you are a scam. I refuse to believe in you any more. Good bye for tech exclamation exclamation. Welcome to my channel, I'm Kupana Shumange, and this is how I do things. The show where you send me your questions and I let you know how I would do things and I can take it as entertainment or use it as advice. Take it, don't take it, use it, don't use it at all, listen, do whatever you will with it. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because in that, me, ek, I'm no professional, no professional whatsoever. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Hunties, it's a conversation type of day, it's a cozy conversation. I got my water with me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is mandatory that with cozy conversations, you need to have a nice little sip of drink with you so we can have a nice, good conversation about a topic that we find very close to our hearts or is very important to us. Self-worth. Why you should never, ever ask yourself the question about self-worth ever again. And I hope that after this video, you'll never struggle with worthiness. You'll never struggle with the question of self-worth ever again. Self-worth. The question of worthiness has plagued us as people for such a long time. It has made us treat ourselves in specific ways. It affects everything about our lives. Worthiness, how we think we are worthy or whether we don't think we are worthy, affects how we see ourselves and therefore it affects how we treat ourselves. We go out into the world and we think to ourselves that, you know, I'm not going to apply for that job. I'm not going to do that. Or you're not even going to allow yourself to be loved in a specific way. Or you don't think certain things are for you because you don't think you are worthy of those things. You think that, you know, having a life that is this good or being in a relationship that is this good, you always think that something's going to go wrong because you think to yourself, deep down inside, there's a question of worthiness. Am I worthy of the things that I actually want in my life? Worthiness is something that has plagued us for many years as people as humans we always ask ourselves about worthiness our purpose our our worth in this world what is our value the question of worthiness affects everything it affects how we see ourselves and it affects how we treat ourselves so we won't apply to certain jobs because we don't think we measure up we won't go for certain relationships because we just don't think we measure up to be in that type of relationship we don't think that we deserve to be happy or a certain level of happiness is designated for a certain group of people it affects the jobs that we apply to it affects the people that we speak to we don't speak to certain people because we think that me and them were different types of people and that person won't want to speak to me because we think that that person has more worth or value than we do and it affects who we speak to how we speak to people how we carry ourselves how we walk into a room we think that humbling ourselves is a thing of worthiness but you can be worthy and still be humble it's a big thing so today i'm going to tell you about three things that i've learned about worthiness and why you should never ever ask yourself about self-worth ever again it will never be a problem if you just believe what i'm telling you in this video so let's get started number one self-worth is nonsense you heard me self-worth is nonsense how can you value or put worth on something that you don't fully understand so let me give you an example you have a smartphone you have an iphone and you are then asked to give a value or a worth to that smartphone and you value it or you give a worth to it based on what you understand about it so you are on social media you make phone calls maybe you use one or two apps etc etc and you 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 give it a worth you give it a value based on what you think and what you understand about that smartphone but then you take that very same smartphone 
you go to the people who designed and created it and you ask them to give it a value and they will value it so much more than what you would value it at and the reason why is because they know full what its capacity is they know what it is capable of they know all the functions they know what it can do what it cannot do they know how far that thing can be stretched and how amazing that thing truly is because they created it and this is where the problem of self-worth comes from self-worth is a problem and it's nonsense and you should never ask yourself the question about self-worth ever again because it's about you not fully knowing yourself putting a worth on yourself and that's where the fundamental problem comes from every single day we are learning we are growing we have different emotions we go through different experiences and all of those things affect how we see ourselves and they affect what we think of ourselves so if we get a rejection letter from a university we value ourselves less we think our worthiness has gone down when we meet somebody who compliments us our value goes up when we do something right our value goes up when we do something wrong our value goes down so our worth and how we value ourselves is always fluctuating and that is nonsense because there's no way that you can rely on something that is so fickle and when we try and value ourselves even though we don't know ourselves that's where the problem is and that's why we will always be wrong with our self-worth whatever your self-worth is whatever you think it is it is wrong because you don't know yourself you'll never fully know yourself until you die you won't until the day when you come to the end of your life and you look at all the opportunities you've had and you look at yourself and all the potential that you had, then you start to realize that, oh my goodness, I saw myself as here when I am actually here. So who is then worthy of giving us worth? The one who created us, who knows us fully, who knows every single speck of our being, who knows our potential, who knows what we are capable of, everything that we can do, everything that is our capability, knowing how much we can stretch ourselves, knowing how strong we are. We know that God puts us in situations that we look at them, we're just like, I cannot handle this, but God knows that you can handle this. And that's why I put you here because he knows our self-worth. That's why self-worth is something that we should never, ever, 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 ever think about, worry about, or even try to determine because it is a nonsense thing. It's a nonsensical thing to do. So then this brings me to number two, that our worth is guaranteed. The reason why we struggle with worth and the reason why we created self-worth is because we don't believe what God says about us. God has already told us that we are worthy. He's already told us so many things about us, that we are wonderfully and fearfully made, that we are magnificent, that if we were the last beings on earth, he would come back just for us, you know? He's told us all these things, and these amazing things about them, but we refuse to accept them. So because we refuse to accept them, we decided, okay, fine, let me determine it for myself. And whatever you determine for yourself will always be far less than what God can do for you. Your worth is a fact. It's a fact. But then why do we still struggle with it? Why do we still look at things and we think to ourselves that, you know what, oh, we struggle to, 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 to go after the opportunities we want. We struggle to speak to certain people. We're, we're confronted by fear when we want to go for certain opportunities or apply for jobs. And we look at other people's lives that are so much better than ours. They literally are living their best lives. And it's because they have this confidence about themselves. Why do we struggle and other people don't struggle if worth is a fact? Here's an example. We can't do anything about the sun. We cannot do anything about it. The sun shining during the day is a fact, right? Even if there's clouds out, that doesn't mean that the sun is not there. The sun is behind the clouds. So let's just say the sun is out and it is and it's shining. We can't do anything to change it. However, we can sit in our rooms, we can close the curtains and decide to sit in the dark. This doesn't mean that the sun goes away. It just means that you are hiding yourself from the sun. You're refusing to accept the sun. And we sit in this darkness and then we look at other people's lives who are living these absolutely amazing lives, who are reveling in the sun, who are reveling in the fact that they are worthy. And because they know that they are worthy, they are confident and they live their lives knowing that good things are coming my way. They live in a life of abundance. They get the cars they want, the houses they want, they get the jobs that they want. They have all the followers in the world. Their videos are getting views. They're just living their best lives. And you're just looking at all these people, thinking to yourself, why do they live like this? And why do I not live like this? The difference is 
that they have accepted the Sabbath. They have accepted the fact of their worthiness and they know that it cannot be questioned. It is a fact, but you are sitting in the dark by choice because you refuse to accept that you are worthy of all the good things in the world. You are worthy of being Oprah. You are worthy of being a person who is respected. You are worthy of a PhD. You are worthy of being happy. You are worthy of a good life. You are worthy of not being broke. You are worthy of abundance. You are worthy of all the things that you see that other people have, you could also have. You are worthy of joy and fruitfulness as a person. However, it is up to you to decide whether you're going to accept that worthiness because it is a fact. You can hide away from that worthiness. You can decide that you're going to define your own worthiness that is fluctuating, that, that is affected by other people, that is affected by circumstances. Or you can take the one that is guaranteed and you can accept it and you can act on it. Because when you know something and you accept it and it's a fact to you and it is knowledge, you act on that thing. You know that it is true, so you act. On it so you go out into the world knowing that I am worthy of this thing no matter what anybody says if somebody says that no you are you don't you're not skilled for this or I don't see you becoming this you look at them and say you do not know my worthiness I am I am here for a reason and if it is in my path that means that it is for me I'm here for a very good reason I've had that in my life where I've had teachers I've had people tell me that I would not achieve certain things that I've already gone and achieved and if it was not for the sense of worthiness or if it was not for the sense of bravery that God had put in me, then I would have never gone for those things. Because some people will tell you, they'll speak against the things that you want and they'll laugh at your dreams or they'll laugh at your ideas. But if you always keep and accept that worthiness, that will bounce off you. It, you'll be like Teflon, water off a duck's back. It will just roll off you without ever affecting you because you know your worth. And finally, number three, you did not make yourself, you were created. And this is the most beautiful thing that we could ever know about ourselves is that we were made by an all-knowing and an all-seeing God. So what does this mean, right? It means that everyone around you was also created and everyone around you was given the exact same worth. The Pope the president, the prisoner, the mother, you, Oprah, all have the same worth. Me, my husband, my daughter, the two-year-old, the 80-year-old, all have the exact same worth. We are equally worthy. The reason why some people will be more joyous than other people is because their acceptance of that worthiness and they act on that worthiness so when you act on that worthiness you then start to have that fruitfulness the joy the peace that comes with it so everyone everyone has the exact same worth so when you see someone achieving something that you think yo i could never do that that is when you refuse to accept your worthiness because everything that anyone else can achieve you can achieve too. Everything and anything that anyone else can have, you can have it too. So if somebody goes out and goes and wins a gold medal at the Olympics, know that you are worthy of that gold medal too. If someone is the first female, black, self-made billionaire in South Africa, you are capable and are just as equally worthy of that status as they are. If someone is forever happy, like you cannot do anything, this infuriating human being is always so flippin' happy. That person's happiness and that person's joy, you are also worthy of it. There is nothing that you could do to increase or decrease your worth. That is why the prisoner is just as worthy as you are. The killer is just as worthy as you are. Everyone is worthy. The Pope is as worthy as you are. There's nothing that you could do. There's nothing that you could say. There's nothing that you could experience. There's nothing that you can give. There's nothing that you can take away that could increase or decrease or affect your worth. Your worth is guaranteed and it is unchanging. I hope that you enjoyed this Cozy Conversations because I think it took a lot for me to even pin those down and to have those ideas and to actually speak them because sometimes it sounds 
like it's just radical things that i'm saying but i hope that it hits the heart for you and i hope that it affects you and i hope that because of this you accept the worthiness that has already been placed on you oh goodness thank you so much for watching and thank you for sharing this you know that an idea shared is an idea strengthened it has grown and when you share this and you teach this to other people you also strengthen it in yourself so hope that you enjoyed it give this a big thumbs up comment down below with what really stood out the most for you and until later days beautiful people thank you for watching i'm kabanish and this is how i do things